welcome to another photographic moment. It's been a few months since I did one of these videos, so I wanted to get one together. Now that we're gearing up for my favorite time of the year for, for nature and landscape photography, and that's fall, autumn. Just uh, It's a spectacular season for all types of uh, outdoor photography, whether it be uh, landscapes or close-in macro nature subjects or sports, portraits, you name it, that light goes perfect and it's a time that photographers love to just get out and do a lot of shooting. Workshop season really uh, ramps up and I'm doing a weekend workshop in a couple weeks back up in Ohio at Hocking Hills State Park at the Inn at Cedar Falls. I still have a couple openings remaining, so if anyone's interested in attending, it's going to be a great weekend because the fall colors up there, it looks like that weekend workshop is going to hit just right when it peaks. And I think this fall, color-wise, is going to be much better than last fall because last fall was very dry up that way. Down here in South Carolina, uh, fall, we don't have the fall colors in the trees, but what we do have is the spectacular skies that uh, skyscape along the coast at sunrise and sunset, such as that, which was just taken a couple weeks ago. So, um, and then it's just wonderful to get out on the water and the marshlands and the tidelands and getting all this beautiful wildlife here. So. Uh, fall is a wonderful time no matter where you're at because that light is just good when the sun gets a little bit further south. Morning is not so early. Uh, evening is not so late. It just is a perfect time for outdoor nature photography. And speaking of outdoor nature photography, a big part of what we do when we're doing um, pursuing those images is packing a lot of equipment and gear and I want to talk about what we carry that gear in because I've used a number of camera bags over um, I don't even try to count the number of years I've been doing this this is a long time I've gone through a lot of camera bag uh, camera backpacks recently a company called think tank photo has brought to my attention uh, several other products I've been using one of these bags quite often in the last couple of months it's called the Shapes Shifter Bag, and Think Tank Photo has a number of bags. And what they do, they design all their camera bags and backpacks, all for the professional photographer in mind. And you can tell because they have quite a variety of bags that suit just about every type of uh, professional photography situation as far as traveling photojournalists, sports shooters, uh, editorial shooters. Um, they have a bag just for all those types of uh, uh, particular jobs that are involved in photography. Um, nature photography also. I like the shape shifter a lot because basically when you take all the gear out of it, it collapses down to maybe three inches. So um, when you're traveling, it's uh, very versatile and whether it, you fill it up with gear or you're just carrying it for maybe just put a laptop in, which I'm going to talk about in a minute here. This is a great bag because also it has these easy accessible outside pockets, which most of them do, but I really like the way they've designed this because they have an area that you can get into real quick for your wallet, car keys, passport, uh, memory cards, everything, just easy access right into there. And then what I also like is where they put this handle because a lot of times we're traveling us photographers in airports and we want to grab that bag and set it down or set it down grab it real quick it's great because this is where they put these their handles and all the bags are like this everything's built around the convenience for the photographer ease of use um, being able to get to things very quickly and not have to struggle with your gear and equipment and trying to fumble around and things like that the back of this pack is really nicely padded because once you have all your camera gear in here you don't feel any of the hard edges coming through and when you're hiking with camera gear like I do when I do uh, really like upcoming this fall season you go maybe two three four five miles on a trail the last thing you want to do is have an uncomfortable pack with about you know 20 to anywhere up to 40 pounds of gear on your back and you feel uh, these sharp edges coming through your back that's not going to make for a good shooting experience so what I like about this is they've really made this very comfortable to, to carry on your back these wide straps are fully adjustable they're padded as well 
They've got the waist strap and the chest strap to keep it you know, all completely adjusted and make that nice and tight. And good tip is when you're hiking with camera gear such as this, and I learned this actually not in photography but somewhere else where I had to carry a pack on my back the long distances, is you want to get that pack as far as high up on your back as possible and off your lower back much easier um, on the back and you'll be able to go a lot further without wearing your muscles down so it's it's really um, this one is done is really good for hiking as well not just traveling in airports and things like that um, there's a, other outside pockets down here this one's big enough where I can put a Canon 580 flash put it down in there they've got these other pouches within I mean there's so many in here there's uh, just about all these little, little pockets that you can put just about anything. Um, right here, it's perfect. Right here, what do I have? I've got skin so soft because I've been using this pack a lot for doing a lot of shoots outside here recently out in the beach, out in the marshland, uh, early morning, uh, late, um, early evening when all these no see come out like crazy, which everybody that lives around here knows what those are. I call them sand fleas. They bite the heck out of you. This stuff, as a side note, is called Avon Skin So Soft. The best thing to keep them away is actually not an insect repellent. It's Avon Skin So Soft. So another little tip there. Um, there's two main compartments in this pack. The first one I'm going to open up, and it's always what I like about the, um, the Think Tank photo bags too. They've really done a great job with the zippers as far as having they have these tabs and other bags I've noticed after a while these tabs tend to fray and they'll come apart and then you have to struggle to, to even to grab a hold of the zipper these are on there good you know they're going to last everything is professional grade which I really like when I open the main compartment up why this works as a shape shifter bag everywhere where there's a camera or lens is these, these neo, neoprene pouches that's why it's able to collapse all the way down when you're not using it for, to save space. But these pouches, I'll show you what I, all I got in here. I've got a camera body. I've got a Canon 1D Mark III. And I'm able to get that camera body in here. It's a little snug because I keep this Kirk L bracket on here because I shoot with the, with the tripod a lot. And so I use a Kirk ball head, so I just keep those L brackets on the cameras. Um, but it still, it fits great. I've got a 300 millimeter here, a 70 to 200 millimeter lens here. I've got a 100 millimeter macro here, and a 17 to 35 millimeter uh, wide angle lens here. I mean, well, this is this is a good outfit for doing just about 90% of what I do when I go out and shoot. I got all the equipment I need. If I need, a, you know, take a polarizer, a split new, neutral density filter, more memory cards, cable release. I've got all these pockets on the inside as well as the pockets on the outside. So, I mean, you can basically, you know, as far as just about all the types of outdoor nature situations that I photograph in. I'm able to get all the equipment for it just in this one small bag. So the thing to remember is you don't want to go and hike when you're out doing nature and landscape photography and pack every single piece of gear you have because it'll wear you down. You're not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be fun. You're not going to shoot free and easy because you've got to be able to keep that flexibility, ability to move because that light is always changing. You don't want to get bogged down with fumbling with too much gear. Just enough to get the shot, okay? So what's great about this pack, it gives you just enough room to get just enough gear in. So it's really nice, very comfortable, easy to grab. I'm really having a lot of fun with the Shake Shifter. Glad I got this one. Another bag that I've been having a lot of fun with from Think Tank is, and see where they have the handle? Easy to grab, makes a big difference. Those are the kind of little things that photographers pick up on. This is called a glass taxi, and inside this bag is this monster 500 millimeter lens, which I think it weighs about something like 15 pounds or so. So when I go out and shoot with this, it's usually just this lens and a camera a body and a monopod with a King Cobra from Kirk to work the lens on. Um, what's nice about this now, I have a pack just for the lens, so I'm able to pack this on my back and then take the camera, 
with a couple other lenses in addition to this. So what's really nice, this makes that big heavy lens somewhat comfortable, yeah, fairly comfortable to carry. And it almost seems, it, weigh, it seems like it weighs less when it's in this pack because this is the way, it's, way it handles, the pack handles. Uh, once again, they've got these padded straps on here. It makes it very comfortable. And so it's an easy, easy about the easiest way possible to hike with a 500 millimeter lens. And I use that a lot when I do when I go out and I do birds uh, and also sports. So um, it's great having a dedicated bag pack just for that lens. So another great one from Think Tank Photo. Uh, real quick, and now they're gearing up for fall. I'm doing two workshops upcoming for October. I'm doing one here locally in Hilton Head. It's a Sunday morning photo walkabout where I'll be doing field instruction at, at Mitchellville Beach Park uh, with a small group and I'll bas basically doing going step by step how what catches my eye, how I set up the shot, how I set my camera, put my camera where I put my camera settings for that particular subject and light situation and going through this and people will be able to go along with me with their gear and I think that's a great way to teach. It's the way I like to teach. Um, I do you know the in-classroom stuff too but when they get behind a projector, behind a, when people are in front of a screen um, it seems like they learn so much more when I take them out in the field and do something like that. So that's October 16th not Sunday morning, 9 a.m. to noon at Mitchellville Beach Park. Uh, it's $20 per person and it uh, should be a lot of fun. And then shortly after that will be the big weekend workshop I'll be doing up at the Inn of Cedar Falls and Hocking Hills. Can't wait. I'm really excited about this fall. I'm getting out and now that um, that beautiful light is hit, um, getting all geared up, getting excited, get it out, get some great new shots. So. Uh, hopefully next time I do a video, I'll have a lot of that to show everybody. And until then, thanks for joining me for another photographic moment.